In this video, I'll be talking about peripheral arterial disease, or PAD. Peripheral arterial disease is when you develop a blockage in the arteries going to the extremities, usually to the legs. The type of plaque is very similar to the type of plaque you develop in the heart. So peripheral artery disease, it can be seen as a heart attack to the legs. PAD is a serious risk factor because patients that have PAD have a 30% chance of being dead in five years, mostly from cardiovascular events. Let's go back to the symptoms. So I mentioned that PAD is a disease of the blood vessels that are taking blood flow, oxygen, and nutrients to the leg. So the first symptom of PAD is usually that patients develop pain while walking, and that's called claudication. Claudication tends to be very reliable. For example, patients usually tell me that after they walk two blocks, their calf starts hurting. They have like a charley horse and they have to stop for a few minutes. After a few minutes, the pain goes away, but then when they walk two blocks again, the pain comes back. Difficulty healing when you have, for example, a cut in the leg or a little ulcer, they may not heal because they don't have enough oxygen and nutrients to be able to do so. We can usually manage conservatively which means we don't need any procedures or surgeries. We can usually manage with an exercise program by treating the cholesterol, of course, stop smoking and treating the diabetes. And over time, they may improve. There are minimally invasive interventional options that can help a lot. And this usually involves doing a procedure called an angiogram. That's when we put a catheter usually through the groin, but sometimes we can nowadays do it through the wrist as well. And we navigate this catheter to the affected leg and we inject dye so we can see what the problems are in the arteries. We can do a simple test in the office that is 90% effective in diagnosing PAD, which is called an ankle brachial index. And essentially what we do, and actually any physician can do, is to measure the blood pressure in the ankle and compare it to the blood pressure in the arm. And essentially you can see what is the percentage of blood flow is going to the legs compared to the arm. And usually people start developing claudication when the blood flow to the legs is 70% of the blood flow to the arms. In summary, PAD is an important and underdiagnosed disease. And it's an important marker of your overall health. And if you develop problems related to the PAD, including claudication, rest pain, or a difficult to heal ulcer, we have non-invasive options that can take care of the problem. This is Minimal Invasive Insights, and this is Dr. Fabio Comos.